What's up everyone, how's it going? This is Watch, and in this video we're doing a direct head-to-head -head speed test comparison between the Apple iPhone 6 and the Samsung Galaxy S6. Now we have the Edge version of the S6, which is identical to the standard model internally, and in terms of the internal architecture, you've probably seen the specifications compared between these two dozens of times, so we're not going to waste any time there. You can take a look at these specs, pause it if you like, but basically we're going to take a look at the real-world performance difference between the two in terms of boot times, multitask capabilities and a whole bunch of other things so if you're interested in that let's take a look at this and see which one is faster Now to conclude, you can see that in most real world tests, the iPhone is just as bit as fast as the Samsung, if not faster, between opening up different applications, web browsing speeds, etc. And even though the benchmark results show that the Samsung is miles beyond what the iPhone can do when you're doing real world day to day tasks, because the iOS platform is completely engineered to work with the internal architecture that the iPhone has, you're going to have a very snappy experience that's as every bit as as fast as what we find on the Samsung Galaxy S6, if not faster at times. Now, that being said, if you're going to use your smartphone as kind of like a desktop PC and hook it up to an external monitor and kind of use it as a laptop replacement, I can definitely see why somebody would justify having this GS6 and having that much horsepower in such a small form factor could definitely be worthwhile in the future. At this point, we're really in the mercy of app developers who really need to create uh, applications that are fully optimized 
optimize for eight cores and more because I'm sure later on down the road we're going to have even more cores at higher clock speeds and we really need the software to kind of match up to that hardware spec. So definitely let me know what you guys think and uh, check out the main comparison that we've done on these two smartphones to kind of get a better understanding on which one is most suited towards your needs. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you later. Take care.